Okay, onwards for lunch with the family. Gonna take away some food. Today's plan is lower body and upper body day. A little, oh, oops. A little bit unorthodox today because I'm planning to play table tennis tomorrow with a friend. So I wouldn't really have the time I would like to train tomorrow. So I'm just trying to squeeze what I can for today. And even if it means having to train both my legs as well as my upper body, and so be it. Anyway, it's more of like a catch up from past few days because I managed to do some leg workouts and some upper body workouts a few days ago for legs and then yesterday I did some upper body to compensate for the volume that I've missed out for this week. Because if you have like a program that you're training for and like say for this current program an adaptation that I'm working towards too which is, which is strength, I need to make sure that I'm hitting enough volume in terms of the reps and sets that I can hit within the week so that, so that I can continually improve towards the adaptation efficiently, as efficient as I can within the constraints and the limitations of my schedule. So if that means having to merge the upper body and lower body workout, it's fine with me as long as I can get in the work done and the volume and the sets and the reps. <laughs> so that's all going to be after lunch today, maybe two hours after lunch. I'm going to spend some time with the family because family time is important. And then I'll see you again later for the workout session. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Week six. I've got session number two for both legs and upper body today. Try and cram in both. Because in about 45 minutes, got about 45 minutes, squeeze whatever I can. Getting some adductor work in. Warming up a little bit first. I'll probably switch up the variation in the future for my vlogs as well, but this is what I want to train for now. Okay. 
And if you have trouble straightening the back or getting it straight enough, you can always do it against the wall as well. Once again, reminder to do what you can handle and not force yourself too much into a specific weight that you're not ready to handle yet. Especially at the start when you're just starting out and you're new to the exercise. Always good to take your own time to be familiar with the exercise, be familiar with the movement and understand which muscle group you are engaging and really feel into it because that's where it makes a difference when you're able to have the extra mind to muscle connection while doing that exercise. Intention, intention, intention. I just realized I only have like seven minutes left. Not sure if I can do some arms, but I think what I'll do is just one step to failure for chest and back on a light weight. After this, here we go. Just gotta do it once. Set. Today, but because I'm rushing it today, so I'm just gonna do whatever I can. So, this is gonna be my last one. Okay, calling it a day. Got to go. I have to be more efficient with the filming as well. Took up a little, a little bit of time for the setup. 
So I'm just gonna see what I can do to improve it so that I can maximize, maximize my workout as well. So I'm done with my quick workout. Didn't quite go as planned. Didn't manage to finish all the exercises that I wanted to do, but no choice. My fiance is ending work early today, so I have to cut short my schedule by an hour. So I just gotta fit in whatever I can. So if that means doing less exercises, then so be it. I can catch up on another day. <laughs> as long as I do something. Because as you know, at the end of the day, whatever you have planned out for yourself, whatever program that I have outlined, sometimes it just doesn't go as perfectly as you want it to. So you just gotta be flexible in that sense to just adjust accordingly and just be happy with what you have and do whatever you can. Even if I can't go to the gym, there's always the alternative of doing home workouts or even just going to the gym at my residence area. It's totally fine too. Because if you really want to make it happen and find ways around your schedule, there's always a way. Like if you have time to watch Netflix, there's time to do some of your personal work if you want to. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this quick workout today. I'll probably see you on the next one next vlog, perhaps sometime tomorrow, I'm going to be playing table tennis. So probably do a vlog then. Quick one. Just a fun one. I mean, most of my vlogs are fun anyway. Fun for me. Fun for me at least. <laughs> so I hope it's at least enjoyable for you to watch. But everybody starts somewhere and I'm starting this new series of vlog and trying to get used to it as well. So I'll just continue to do my best and see how it goes. Till then, stay balanced.